like for you to to in your link but okay i will open it from my side uh, i will open it from my side and go into the first drawing open the first drawing that we that you can see Okay, that drawing might be a little small, but I will increase that drawing in size. Can you all see that drawing on my screen? You, you, you're welcome to follow on your own on your own computer too, but you're welcome to also have a look at at what I have here. Can, can you can you see the drawing that I've uploaded here? RC001, bark excavation, bark excavation drawing. Can you see that? Yes, sir. Okay. And what will we be doing? We will be measuring. Um, we will be measuring the bark excavation. You've done bark excavations in, in in your third year last year. You've done you've done um, uh, mensuration in your first year a uh, couple of years ago. You've done that, and now we'll be continuing further and by by doing by by working out the volume of material that needs to be excavated for this drawing. Now, this particular section that we're doing now will refer to different types of, of excavation. In third, in third year, we dealt with the average method and we also dealt with the weighted method. Now I'll be adding another one to, to, to your arsenal so that so that when you're out there, that you can, that you'll be able to, to, uh, to work through, that you'll be able to, to, to deal with this. And the one method that I'll be looking at now would be Simpson's rule. I'm just, if you'll allow me just to, just to close this here quickly, and then uh, I will just uh, the worked example. And this is what, what you should see in the worked example. Uh, on the worked example, you will see here that it says here the method would be the Simpsons rule. Now, what does Simpsons rule say to us? So I'm going. I'm just going to have a look at what Simpsons rule say, says to us, and a look look at the, at the formula of what Simpsons rule says. Simpsons rule says that it is d over three. Now, what is d? D. I'll just go. My apologies, I have to now go in and out through this now. Get back to the drawing. If I look at what D is, D refers to the space between the respective levels that we have. That 10,000 there would be D. That is 10,000 would be D. So it tells me that the spaces between each of these levels that we have there is 10 meters. So if that space is 10 meters, it also means, it also refers and that uh, it would tell me, because if I, if I look at this drawing in totality, I so much wish that I could have given these drawing and these drawings out physically so we can follow it. In totality, you then look at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 meters across, right? And the other way would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 meters. Is that, is, that, is, is that what you see? Because if the space between is 10 meters, then it will be in equal blocks. You guys have done site survey and it would be in equal, in equal blocks and it will be 10 meters space from, from each other, all the levels there. So we are tasked to determine, to, to measure the bulk excavation to a reduced level of 4720. There it says the reduced level is 4720. We need to measure that to reduce level of 4720. There's no need for us to measure risk of collapse. And we would look at what the standard system says, what the standard system says to us with regards to um, to the bulk excavation. We will then have, we will have to work through this and the standard system tells us that we measure risk of collapse is either measured in bulk 
or in trenches and holes. It's either measured not exceeding 1.5 meters deep or exceeding 1.5 meters deep. But in this instance, there's no need for us to measure risk of collapse because we are just going, we will just want to get to work down to our lowest point, which reflects which, is, which reflects here as 4720. It gives us this point in the bottom in here. So when I go and I look at what the formula says, the formula says it is D, which is the 10 meters over three. That's the formula. Sum of all the first and the last coordinates, it will be the sum of 4,720 and 4,900. It also says that four times the sum of the uneven coordinates. Now, what is uneven? If this is the first one, that is an even. This is uneven. So 3, A3 and A5 are the uneven coordinates. And then plus two times the sum of the remaining coordinates. So it will then be A2, A4, and A6. That will give us, that's the formula for, for Simpson's rule. But when we calculate these, and if you go, when I go out of this, and this is where I want you to, to form a part of it, and where I need for you to, to follow what it is I'm doing. And I will quickly close this I'll quickly close this and then just upload where I have uh, if, if you look at the section that I have shown you there are no working up uh, there are no, no dimensions given to us in there there are no dimensions given but I will upload for you I will upload one that that reflects the the dimensions, but that is my own my, my own calculations that I have here. Can you see my screen? Does my does my screen show up here? Yes, sir. You can see my Excel spreadsheet. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, when you see the Excel spreadsheet, I will just slide down and I will just reflect on what it is that I have done here. Remember the formula says that it is D over 3 and D is 10. And it then says it is the sum of the first. It is the sum of the first. Oh, no, that's the wrong, wrong upload that I have here. Because this one here is my average method one. No, so it says it is the sum of the first and the last. Uh, let me just go out here quickly, guys, just to get my. Uh, no, I uploaded the bloody wrong one.
wish I could now just write, but I can't find that one. But, in, but needless to say, I will get back into that and uh, just upload that spreadsheet again. Okay, you can you can see my, my Excel spreadsheet. Okay. <coughs> When you say our description would then read bulk excavation in pickable material and open face to reduce levels and extra over excavation for carting away surplus excavated material. And I would want to extend that. And what, what would we say there? I need to state there to a site selected. by The contractor. But I'll say that to site selected by the contractor. Um, that is what your description would look like. Or you might get told that you need to need to be car to work out of the way three kilometers or so, to a site six kilometers or three kilometers away. But when but when dealing with with the Simpsons rule, what we would do when looking at the drawing, the drawing that you can see is that we would then add for the first and the last, we would add each and every dimension moving moving going through. Oh, Mr. Dry? Hello, yes. Sorry to disturb you, sir, but uh, the hands are up. Can you? Oh, thank, th thank you. Guys, remember, I cannot see when there is a hand up. When I when I have... Uh, okay, I see the hand. Uh, anybody who wants to ask a question? I, I do not see any hands now. Okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's a trailer. Okay. And there's Nomta, and then we we'll go to Ottawa. Okay. Chicago first. Yeah, uh, the Excel spreadsheet says not clear. We can't see anything there. Can you not see the Excel spreadsheet? Yeah, yeah we can see it, but there's something there that is preventing us to see the rest of the screen. Can Can you see now? No. Okay, I'll just stop sharing quickly. I'll try and upload this again. This happened to me last week as well. Okay, can you tell me if you see my screen now? Huh? Yes, sir. Can you see my screen, the, the Excel spreadsheet now? Yes, sir. Okay. So when when we have, you, you, I'll just go back again, you see bulk excavation, and then our description saying extra over excavation for carting away surplus excavated material to a site selected by the contractor. Now, when we look at our determining this, the volume to be excavated using Simpson's rule, and I now have to unfortunately go out here and, uh, and show that and, and go back to the drawing again. In going back to the drawing, we can then, I know that the drawing is going to show now. Does the drawing show? Can you see the drawing from your side? No, sir. Okay, you should see it now. Yes. Okay, it's reflecting. Right. So, with the drawing, I'm not just going to show, and I'm going to count, and we, we said that the spaces that D is 10. So, I'm going to count and say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. So, you can see my cursor moving. You can see my cursor moving. So, the, the distance is 70 meters. So it's 70 meters, and that 70 meters, we would then have to, what, what we would do then is, is add all of these levels that we see here. We add all of them. And we then arrive at whatever the total is for the first one. And we then add whatever the total is, 
and we divide that by eight because there would be eight levels. There would be eight levels at each point. It would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There would be eight levels that are that we are given. So when we have d over three, it would be a ten over three multiply by because I need to determine the volume. So I need to have three dimensions. So it will be 70 the length, and I then have to add, so I'm just going to swap over again. See my screen? The Excel yes, screen? Sir. Okay. So I have now all the levels that you see. 4, 7, 20, all of those, I add that and then I get a total of that for of 39,080. And I divide that by 8 because that is the number of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Divided by 8, it gives me 4885. And my the level that I have, my reduced level is 4720. And the difference between those two is 165. And if I now go back and I'll see that would be 10 over 3, or you can have it written like this, 1 over 3, multiply 70, multiply 0.17, which is the average of all eight of those levels on the first on, on, on A1. You can see my reference here. My reference here shows that is on A1. So what have I done? All I've done is, and I'm going to type here quickly. All I've done, I've broken this up. Uh, I've broken this up as follows. I have D divide 3, and that multiplied by A1. Can you see that? That's what I've done. And I said plus e over 3 multiply a a7 in a nutshell that is that that is what i've done if i scroll down you'll see a7 would show the same a7 is everything added on the right hand side divided by 8 and that gives me 604 and that's Four, it was seven, oh, where's seven? Oh, seven. Oh, seven is, should be there further on away. Why is seven not be there? It's Yeah, this one, there's, there's seven. Oh, I had seven in my thing. Okay. But but this bit, that, that should be another one, seven, where we add all of these levels, 4980, 5050, 5140, 5150, 5110, and 5115 and 4900. We add all of those and we divide in the but then we should have 0.35, and that is 7. And what we would then would do then, and we would then say plus, and this is where I want for you to see, it's d divide 3. So we say 4 times 4 times, it will now be a2. You understand what I've typed there? It's D over three, and if you look, have a look at what I've typed here, and have a look at what I've what I have here for a two. You see there, it's D, which is the ten divided by three, times four, times a, whatever the average is, the depth for a is. Can you guys see that? I'd like some response, guys. <clears throat> Can you 
Can you not see that? I take it the silence is not uh, saying that we understand, but the silence is that we do not see exactly what it is you are talking about, sir. So we see, but yes. we don't understand. Yeah, you don't understand. Okay, that that is that is what that is that that I've uh, I've been in I've been in this game. Fortunately, I've been in the game long enough to understand that there is no confidence coming out. Uh, that, that there is no confidence coming out from here. So, what I if I just go back to the drawing. I'm going to go back to the drawing, upload the drawing. Can you see the drawing? You can see the drawing, right? Okay. So, Simpson's rule says, and I'll go, it says it's D over 3. You see the 10, that's D, divided by 3, multiplied by the sum of the first and the last. So, the sum says, we add, okay? So it will be the 70 meters. You've seen that we've counted that, we've added and we've determined that is at seven, at seven, the length is 70 meters. So we've added all of these levels here, divided by eight, we subtracted the reduced level from it and we arrived at that average depth of 165, which is 0.17, which you then say it is the D, which is the 10, divided by 3, times 0.17, which is the average depth. That's for that. We then do exactly the same for A7. It's D over 3, the 10, times 70, times the average, which is 0.3, if we add all of those. And that will be, then, as per the formula that says it is D over 3, multiply by the sum of the first and the last, last coordinates. We then go, and it then says, plus the sum of the even coordinates. Now, which would be the even coordinates? If that is 1, it would be even would be, oh, sorry, the odd coordinates would be 3 and 5, because that those are uneven numbers, okay? So they would be uneven numbers. And if we then have a look at, the, and then it says, um, 2 times d over 3 times 2 times the remainder will be the even numbers. Is there somebody who has made, made a note in the in the comments? I, I, can, I cannot see comments or anything, guys, whilst I am. And I, and I, 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 depend, on, I depend on you guys to, to inform me whether there are any comments typed in the comment uh, line or whether there is a hand that is up. Okay. So if you look at the drawing, so what we would have, A1, A7 would be multiplied by D over 3. A2, A4, and A6 will be multiplied by D over 3 multiplied by 2. A3 and A5 would be D over 3 multiplied by 4 and multiplied by the average depth. Do you, under, do, do, do you understand what I'm saying uh, there in, in, in that instance now? Okay, do you, do you understand what I, what I just what I just said there now? No, no comment. Sir. You don't understand, Yola? No. Okay, I'll I will go back. I'll go back again, and I will, and I will just um, upload the spreadsheet again. You see the spreadsheet? It's it's blocked again. Is it blocked it's again? Maybe my computer is once Easter's already. Okay, let me go in there. Can you see my screen now? Yes, sir. You see it now? Okay. You see that that's mark yellow there? Yes. Okay, that is the formula for Simpson's rule. 
And when do we use Simpson's rule? We use Simpson's rule when we find that we have and we that we find that we have an irregular shaped an irregular shaped object or so that we have where we have to to do the either calculate the area or to determine the volume of of excavations to be to to be incorporated. So that section that says that uh, speak that yellow that in yellow there. The formula there says D over three. I'll just make that. Wait for you to see. Yes, sir. It says okay. D over three. D remember is the ten meter, the space between each of the coordinates, right? Multiply by the sum of the first coordinate and the sum of the last coordinate. So when I speak of the sum, you see A one. A one says. And these are the levels that you can identify on A1. So it's the sum of the first coordinates. So we added all of those. It gives us 39080. There are eight coordinates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we divide that by eight. And it gives me four, uh, four double eight five. But my reduced level is 4720. So I've got to subtract that to determine what the average excavation depth would be on A. Okay, so that is 165. For A7, which I see somehow disappeared there, I have to do the same thing. I have to add all of those, do that and go through. Then, the formula says D over 3 multiply by 4 multiply by the sum of the even coordinates. What are my even coordinates? They'll see even. It'll be 2, 4, and 6. So it's 4 times whatever I have added down here and whatever I have uh, determined the average, the average uh, depth for excavation would be multiplied by 4 and that multiplied by D over 3. What is D? D is 10. You, you got me? Yes, of course, you, sir. Then it says that for the remainder would be D over 3 times 2 times the sum of the remaining ordinates. Now, what are the remaining ordinates? They are 3 and 5. So so when we go in there, we then, <coughs> we then would say D over 3. Remember 3 and 5? We said 3 and 5. Let's have a look and see what 3 shows. At 70, which is my length, multiply for, for 3, A3, as you see there, 0.45. Let's just have a look. It says it shows 454, 454 millimeters. We convert that to meters, it becomes 0.45. And that then, and that then is the depth, 0.45 for 3, multiply by 10. Because we are working with volume, I could have said 1 here, then I would have had to say 10 over 3. And I could have said one here, but because it's easier to work with the smaller digits in the in the times in column, uh, I then uh, do that in that way. So the 70 multiplied my average depth multiplied by my 10 over 3 divided multiplied by 2. And that is for 3 as well as for 5. You look at 2, 4, and 6, you'll see there. For 2, there you'll see the 4, there you'll see the 4, and there you'll see the 4 all in line with the formula for Simpson's rule. And then I determine what my volume is that needs to be excavated, and that gives me that. It's straightforward. It is nothing that is untoward, and that, but that is how we would use Simpson's rule if we had to determine what the volume is to be excavated. Of course, we can go here and we can say that we need to now calculate the risk of collapse for that, but the risk of collapse we will measure in the next uh, next section. We we'll may look at measuring the risk of collapse in there. Okay. So what I need for you to do, based on what I've done here, you'll see that that drawing, the, the one, the workings out that I've given for RC001 was blank. The one I've given you was blank. There was no, there were no dimensions and that in there. But if I look at this and I say to you now, you need to determine the excavation depth using the average method. 
What is the average method? What, what, what is it in order for you to, to gain access into, in order for you to gain access into the, 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 the advanced diploma quantity surveying? What were the requirements for you to gain entry into the in, into the uh, advanced diploma quantity event? What were the requirements? Number one, you had to have 60% for quants, right? And number two, what, what was the second one that you had to uh, conform to? You had to have what of, a what of 60%? Total average of all your modules. And how did you determine that total average of your modules, Yola? Uh, you added all your modules months, then you divided it by the number of your modules. So you added all of them, you divided by the six, which was the number of modules that we've had. Correct. Yes. So the exact same thing that you've just told me now, Yola, is the exact same thing that you do in determining the average method for, uh, for this area RC001. And if we go in and we have a look at that, we know that my spaces are 10 meters apart. It means that my that my horizontal is 60 meters and my vertical is 70 meters. So if you do that, we then go and we can then all we know that we need to do now is to determine what the average depth is of the excavations for what the average depth is for my excavations in order to, to be able to calculate the average method. So when I upload, uh, you, you, you've seen what the drawing looks like. I will, I will just upload my Excel spreadsheet again. So if we have, for the average method, what do I do? I will now add each and every level on this drawing. Each and every one of them. So I'll, you'll add you add each and every one of them, and we will then realize that there are 56 points. How do I get to 56? If I count them, and if I add, and this is something that you should be able to do um, without without issue, is to add all of these levels. You can see you can see my screen. I hope we can see it. It's not gonna show blank or black mark. Can you see my screen? No? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now what we do is exactly what Yola said. We we do what what you guys done to, to get into your into the advanced diploma you had to add all your marks so we will add all of these and there's 56 of them one two three four five six seven and there's eight the other way we add all of those and we add them we divide them by 56 and that then gives us a an average of uh, 470 uh, uh, it gives us an average uh, of 5190.71 and then we need to deduct the reduced level from there and then in getting deducting the reduced level it then gives us our average depth of 470.71 meaning that our multiply that would be 0.47 so it will be 60 my horizontal times my my length a 70 multiply by 0.47 and what is beautiful here is just to show how 